Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, taking a bit of a breather, but the overall weather pattern is still active. A couple of chances, actually likelihoods of uh, ocean storms doesn't necessarily mean that each one is a direct hit, but they're forming out over the ocean along with uh, eventually very cold air headed our way. So dry for now, right on through the overnight, through a better part of tomorrow. Parts of southeastern Massachusetts out towards Plymouth County will get some snow showers off the ocean. Two storms to watch. Number one, Thursday evening, Thursday night. Still looks like the worst of it will stay offshore, but will get clipped with a little bit of light snow. So at this point, some good news there. It still bears watching. Second chance coming later on Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. This has the potential to be a big storm, uh, over the ocean at least, but how close it tracks, uh, still a bit of uncertain, but should it track close enough to our coastline, it would mean uh, significant uh, snow and wind. We'll show you that in the seven-day future cast. Sunset at the uh, campus at URI, some clouds streaming in from the west right now. In downtown Providence, partly cloudy 26 on a north breeze at 13. Relative humidity now coming in at 74%. Hello, Gloucester 23, of course, with a deep snowpack. Coventry 25, westerly 28, and the Bedford coming in at 31. So we've slipped below freezing, so wet surfaces and slush freezing up tonight. Tracking the system across the Great Lakes, this is our next weather maker for Thursday evening, Thursday night. As it moves across northern New England, what will happen is uh, it will give way to a secondary storm off the coastline and really start to intensify. But as it gets into a, as it turns into a strong storm, it's actually on its way out, moving away. So we get a little bit of the back edge of the storm, some light to maybe moderate snow, perhaps a couple of inches Thursday night. Nothing more than that. So at this point, it's not a big blockbuster, 12 inches of snow kind of a deal, but certainly uh, some accumulations. I'll show you that in just a second. Future cast this evening and overnight is fairly quiet as temperatures drop through the teens. Notice tomorrow throughout southeastern Massachusetts, Boston down to Taunton, New Bedford, Plymouth and the Cape, heavier clouds and every now and then snow showers coming in off the ocean. Elsewhere, it's dry with a blend of clouds and sunshine, a colder day. By uh, late afternoon and early evening, we're dropping back into the teens and single digits, so it will turn colder tomorrow evening. And even tomorrow afternoon, not as mild as it was today. And this is really going to set up for very cold weather beginning Friday and extending through the weekend. So at this point, fringe effects from the storm system. The track a little further offshore should minimize any big, big snow totals. And the early call on this Thursday night would be for one to three. And right now I'm leaning towards the low end of that number and higher amounts out across the outer Cape and the island. So both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon are fairly quiet, though colder with temperatures in the mid 20s. Seven day future cast, the deep freeze Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, look at these daytime highs. Never make it to 20 and nighttime temperatures falling uh, below zero all three of those nights. Just light to uh, moderate snow Thursday night and perhaps a more important storm system in the late Saturday, Sunday time frame. A busy, busy weather pattern. Yes, it is. All right. Thanks, Tony.